Across Africa, utilities have failed to provide for the basic electrification needs of the majority of the population, especially in rural communities. There's an estimated 585 million people living without electricity in Sub-Saharan Africa. And to make matters worse, 70% of those unelectrified live in rural communities. In South Africa alone at present, there are 3.4 million households without formal meter electricity supply, 2.2 million in formal and 1.2 million in informal households. The Soda Turtle is basically a second-hand shipping container. We take battery packs and solar panels and we put it all into the container. We find and train women from the local community to be turtlepreneurs. Then we take the lady with her container to a rural community that doesn't have electricity. Once there, the container just plonks on on the ground, opens the doors. She then takes the panels outside, flips them towards the sun, and they charge the batteries on the inside. Now community members who want electricity come to the Soda Turtle and buys one of these bottled electricity packs. And they can take it back home, plug it in the home, and voila, they've got the electricity. When the electricity runs dry, simply take the bottle back to the container, plug it in, during the day, charge it up, voila, you've got your electricity again. Okay, so these are the batteries. Uh, we've got the small ones, the light boxes. We've got the medium ones, the small TV boxes, and we've got the bigger ones, we're thinking of fridge boxes. All that there are is a lead crystal battery inside a recycled bottle, which we convert into a 12 volt socket, like a car socket. So all you do is you take your bottle home, which you then plug into your home system, and you've got your lights. When it's finished, you plug out the bottle and take it back to the solar turtle for recharging. Currently, most of these people are reliant on kerosene, which is quite expensive. LED lights can provide a much cleaner and a safer light for a longer period of time. Obviously, just starting one small little business is not going to change the world. We want these businesses to grow. And once it reaches a critical mass, and they can actually start selling their excess electricity. And you start creating mini-grids. So as you have solar turtles all over the country, they start connecting to one another, making a web, supporting one another. Access to electricity has many advantages for rural communities. Adequate lighting, more study time, women and children don't need to collect firewood, no more burning of kerosene. The Department of Basic Education, together with the Department of Science and Technology, is teaming up to roll out the ICT program. They want to hand out tablets to replace textbooks in rural schools. Obviously, they require electricity for this. That's where we come in.